Good afternoon, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. On my way home, I was thinking about eggnog and I was thinking about maybe trying to make some eggnog. So I stopped by Woolies and I bought all of the ingredients to buy to buy eggnog? I bought the ingredients to buy eggnog. No, I bought the ingredients to make eggnog. When I was a kid, my dad made eggnog a couple of times and I'm pretty sure he used brandy. I'm actually gonna be using Bacardi today because I didn't wanna spend $24 on a bottle of brandy that I'm really not gonna drink all of. And I drink Bacardi and all of the recipes I looked at asked for light rum. And according to Jamie Oliver, he makes his with Bacardi. So I bought Bacardi. Now it might taste awful because to me, it doesn't seem like the two things are gonna mix very well, but there's only one way to find out and that's by making the thing and drinking it and going, oh my God, this was a terrible, terrible mistake. Or that was delicious, which is what we're hoping for. This is called the amazingly good eggnog recipe. So let's see if it's true. Okay. So the first step, put all of the ingredients into a saucepan. I can do that. Milk. You can't see my saucepan, but I swear I'm not pouring it on my laptop and pouring it into the into the thing. Oh, I'll do this so you can see it. Look. Oh. I've run out of milk. That's unfortunate. Back up milk. Milk. Vanilla extract and cinnamon. And it's a cloves, isn't it? Pretty sure it's a cloves. Right, the coloured ones. I'm sure I got them from Aaron. I may not have, but I'm pretty sure I did. One teaspoon. And then I never use the cloves again. Why? Because what on earth would I put cloves in? I have no idea. I don't even know what it tastes like. Da -da -da. Ooh. Vanilla. -y. That was a bad move. So what's so bad? Straight vanilla extract. I would have expected that to be like, oh my god, vanilla. Ha! Gas stove, gas stove. Green for Christmas. One and a half cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I don't trust this recipe. It seems rather dubious. Sugar. We whisk. God, really? That can't be right. Foamy, is that the same as fluffy? Let's actually say what to do the ball slowly pouring it in. We need a bigger ball. Stirring to continuously until thick, did they say? Two and a half cups of that's gonna be a lot of rum. I hope this tastes good, because if it doesn't taste good, then I've just wasted a ridiculous amount of ingredients. And you might have to drink it anyway. Two. Oh, that does not smell right. All right, so now this is supposed to go in the fridge overnight. It's not going to go in the fridge overnight. It's going to go in the fridge until it's cold. Right. And then I'll taste it. See you when it's done. Three hours later and it is finally chilled. It actually smells pretty good. Now that it's cold, and I think what happens is that not only are you putting it in the fridge for it to cool, but I think you're also putting it in the fridge and the um, spices and stuff must like mix into it more because I can't smell the Bacardi at all. I don't think it's going to make me want to throw up, which is really like the first bar you need to, to get across, so hopefully. That's actually nice. That's good. It doesn't taste like Bacardi and milk, thank God. I was very worried that it was gonna taste like Bacardi and milk. It doesn't taste like Bacardi and milk. It tastes like cinnamon and nutmeg and whatever the hell cloves are and milk. Okay, I'm going to settle down with a nice Christmas movie for the evening. I found one with Anna Kendrick in it, so I'm gonna watch that one. Ah, it's yummy. <laughs>